coming this way, you slap there. Now, because the, the Tai Chi, it looks very slow in action, but I can show you in the true speed, and you have to be that accurate. Because uh, if you are not accurate, you hurt the students. Now, if a teacher, you know, hurt the student in the first place, then he is not damn good because he himself has no control over the movements. So, when you are very accurate, you do not hurt your students because students are part of you. So, you have to be very careful not to hurt your students. <laughs> I used to teach in a big class, you know, I have a lot of students from the hasta. One day a guy came in, you know, he has black eye, you know, he has bruise in the hand, you know, and uh, he has so many bruises all over the body. So I asked him, I said, you got a, an accident or what? He said, no, I was in the, you know, in a kung fu school practicing, uh, my master punched me, you know. I said, you pay him $40 to punch you? you might as well buy, buy yourself a noodle and sit at home, you know, because he has so many bruises. That's why when a teacher is teaching the student, you don't try to punch the student now, but you practice in a way that is very gentle and it still works. It only needs two ounces, you know, to beat the guy down. Why do you need a full strength? You don't need that. See, I'll show you if he punch me. See, I'll show you in the slow speed, right? This is slow speed. Now I'll show you fast speed. That is the fast speed. Try again. See? Try again. See, how many how many ounces do you need, you know, to give a tap on the forehead to see stars? You only maybe need three ounces. So if you said you throw a punch like that and try to hit that guy, I think it's a little bit too brutal, you know. So in self-defense, all you want is to warn your opponent. You don't need all the bull force. You know, the world is full of violence already. So when he comes in, see there, it is done. See, and you are that accurate, and you, he is not hurt. But some people want to say, whoa, that doesn't show any strength. Yeah, if I, if I tap your fingers, you know, I tap, no, I tap your eyes with two fingers, I don't need strength, you know. I don't need strength, I don't even need an ounce. You see, if I go like that, I can put your, you know, I can put your eyes out with the one, one ounce, right? So why do you need all the strength, right? But of course, we are just demonstrating see there. See, now this is this move that in the Tai Chi we have, like that. See, block and chain chance. So. This is the, the, the move that I'm using, see, to change hands, see that? Well, that is very easy, right? But the thing is, if you have the chi, you don't need all those fooling around. See, when it comes in, I just touch here, right? I just touch here. As soon as I touch here, I return him on the chi, he is already bounced. So then